Bitch, your game, talk your shit, grab your game. Bitch, your game, talk your shit, grab your game. Bitch, your game, talk your shit, grab your game. Bitch, your game, talk your shit, grab your game. Bitch, your game, talk your shit, grab your game. All right, everybody, welcome to the first episode of the Spit Your Game podcast. With me right now, I got the legend, Greenwood legend, icon, and Hall of Famer, Slim Jones. What's going on, Slim? What's going on, brother? What's up, man? How you been, man? How everything going? I ain't been well, man. I can't complain at all. That's what's up. That's what's up. Man, how tall are you, man? Because I, look, because I, we was at, uh, at uh, Coach Lemon funeral, and I'm like, man, I know, you know, I heard you seven feet, but I was like, man, I can't stand beside this man, because, man, I don't, I don't look up to too many people, man. Uh, it say seven feet. Seven it feet. Seven feet. Seven bro. feet. Okay, okay. You know, that's a rarity around the Delta, you man. Know, you know, you, you got, got a couple some... guys that's seven feet, um, that guy, what's his name out of uh, Clarksdale? Oh, yeah, Earl Barron. Earl Barron, he's yeah. seven something. So, yeah, some, yeah, it's, it's hard to find yeah, successful it's, guys. It's a rare, it's a rare man. Um, so you originally from Greenwood? I'm from Greenwood, Mississippi. Um, we was raised on Money, Mississippi, okay. Wade Plantation. You know, out there in the country. Right, Me right. And Nakia Jones, and that's who I learned a lot of my game from. Is Nakia being aggressive and okay, and playing hard. Okay, so siblings, you are brothers, sisters? I have uh, I have a younger sister and a younger brother, two younger brothers. Okay, okay. Um, any kids? I have three kids, Vincent Jones II, uh, Money Jones, and Akiva Jones. Okay. So growing up, man, uh, the neighborhood, man, tell me how your neighborhood was growing up, man, where you well, grew up at. And well, I grew up in the country. I, uh, I started out in the country, Wade Plantation, me and the Kia and um, a couple of our cousins, Otha, all us grew up, we playing basketball on the dirt out there. Okay. Uh, and I sort of liked basketball, but I didn't at the same time. I just was doing it because I was tall. Mm -hmm. you know, so after that, we moved to um, Greenwood, and that's when I started growing up on the west side. West side. Um, lived on Cotton Street in the GP area. GP. Yeah. They call it West Side. The now, West Side. Right? The West Side. <laughs> so, West Side for life. Man. West Side is the best side. West Side ain't? for life, bro. <laughs> so, so how did you get into basketball? Like, who put the ball in your hand? Um, my mom played basketball at Mississippi Valley State. Uh, she is a Hall of Famer at Mississippi Valley State. Darlene Jones. Uh, she was recently inducted into the Hall of Fame. Okay. Uh, she started out. Um, Valley. Then she went with the Houston Shamrocks, and um, I think they had to be in Houston. I didn't know exactly because I was a young kid, mm. and I remember when she left, and I hated she le her leaving. But that was her her start to be in the WNBA. That was when they first started Houston Shamrocks. Houston Shamrocks. Okay. Houston Shamrocks. That's the name of the team. Oh, I cried when my mom <laughs> left. Boy, what you talk about? Uh, she was trying but, to make that a was living. her dream. That was her dream. Right. That was what she wanted to do. Yeah, yeah. So was it any uh, particular, uh, like, players or people that you looked up to playing basketball, like, growing up? Uh, when I was coming up, I really didn't even I, – I watched my mom. My mom mm -hmm. was really the one that uh, – when I was young, I was run up and down the stadium in, uh, at, at Valley and watch her play, and I said I was going to do it. But I really didn't say, okay, this is what I'm going to do for the rest of my life is mm -hmm. play basketball until I got a little bit older. Okay. Uh, so when did you take basketball serious? Like when you was like, okay, this is something I think I'm good at and I can go ahead and proceed and you, do it. You know, I think it was around my 10th and 11th grade year at Greenwood High School. Um, I used to didn't, I didn't put no effort in this game, man. Like when I first started, um, I wanted to play on the park and that was it. But once I saw that, um, I had this guy, uh, Lalo. Lalo used to say, man, okay, I was dunking. I wasn't dunking at first. At, at Davis, I couldn't dunk. Uh, Demetrius McDowell was dunking before me. Yeah. So I went to Yazoo City one summer and uh, came back, and I was 6'6". Six, six. I went there 6'4". And I started just playing around with the ball, playing around with the ball, jumping, trying to dunk, and I started dunking. So Lalo said, man, every dunk that you get, in the game, I'm gonna give you a hundred dollars. Mm. I ducked that one time. He yeah. gave me a hundred dollars, man. Ever since yeah. then, it been on. 
It's been over. It's been over with, bro. I <laughs> promise you, it's been over. <laughs> Look, a hundred dollars per dollar. A hundred dollar. I yeah. had it. I had it wallet. Her one night, I had like eight of them against <laughs> Elsie, bro. I, I had eight of them. I got eight hundred dollars oh, yeah. from him. Hey, so. He's he, man of his word. He, 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 exactly. Rest in peace to him. Okay, okay. So when when did you hit your growth spurt? Because like me, I'm six six, but I was like five, maybe five. 10 from sixth grade but then when i went into my seventh grade mm -hmm. year i grew like man to like six three so how, how was it for you I, I like i was saying i think it was that summer man i went to the edge of the city i don't know i think it was my ninth grade year i went to the edge of the city and i came back that so that it was like i don't know what age that would be in the ninth and tenth grade but mm -hmm. that age i jumped up from like six i was six four and i think i was like six six and a half and that was just in one summer so wow. and then after that, it just started going each, each in my month, a year. I'm getting taller and taller, bro. Yeah. So you just each year, just each year, each each, I'm getting taller and taller. Yeah. Feet getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> and the clothes getting smaller exactly, and smaller. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I know that. I know them feeling. Uh, so the middle school. Did you? Uh, what middle school did you go to? Did uh, uh, I went you did, to? Uh, what is that? Davis? Is that, that David? Uh, Davis was from kindergarten to sixth grade. Okay. I think. And then you had uh Thread Gill from seven to eight. Uh -huh. And then it was like I think I think Bankston and uh, I went to, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I went to like Davis that. and then went straight to you know what, bro? I went to uh I started out I went to East Elementary. Okay. We moved. I went to uh Davis and then from there Davis to Greenwood uh -huh. High. And then that was it. Okay, that was Greenwood okay. High to college. Okay. Okay. Um, did you play? Uh, did you play basketball in middle school, or you just? Started I did. I did. I started. Coach Banks was my coach there. Mm -hmm. But you know what? My mom made me go. I didn't want to go. Burt Keys. Burt Keys was playing. Sherrod Gideon. You got uh, Neil. Um, man, it was the, a lot of the old head. Uh, what his name? I forgot the guy's name. He was real good. Um, I forgot his name. Mm -hmm. But they had a good team, and I went and tried out, but I didn't make the team. What? So Coach Banks, what Coach Banks did is um, I went home, I walked home crying the whole time. And um, I came back to school the next day. Coach Banks was the uh, PE teacher. And what he said was, no, nah, uh, you didn't make the team, but I want you to come to practice every day. Mm -hmm. So I was coming to practice, and each every time they went down on the other end of the court, Coach, he, Coach Banks made me go right hand, left hand, jump hooks on each basket. Okay. So that whole season, that's what I was doing. You were refining your skills. Is, that's what he wanted me yeah. to do. I was I was heartbroken, but I think that was one of the points where, okay, Coach Banks saw something in me, and okay. that would push me to get to a better player. Okay. So Coach Banks was kind of like Bank that. Coach Banks was the guy. Was that, that, was that, the one that, that pushed fire? Me. Yeah, because I, I, I was, I was going to quit. I was going to quit doing that because I, I went to my mom and I was like, I'm through playing basketball. They didn't want me on the team. She was like, oh, no. She made me go back. Mm -hmm. you know, and she followed me in the car when I walked back. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So that Coach Banks was the one that pushed me to get I, I, get to the position that I am, I was then. You know? Okay. So let me ask you this question. So your mom played basketball, mm -hmm. right? So do you think if she didn't play ball, do you think she would have gave? Wish she would have told you like, "No, nah, you going back," or you think she would have just let you? Because think, you know, you know how it yep, is when yep. you. I understand exactly what she. <clears throat> she she would have did the same thing, she did the same even thing. if she didn't play. She's just that type of person. Okay. Uh, she don't want you to quit. Yeah. She, that, uh, she was a firefighter. She was the first female firefighter in Greenwood. Oh, okay. And she didn't never quit. She was to go out there and beat the men with the hose. Tell them to get out the way and grab the hose and she go put yeah. out the fire. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I, for sure she wouldn't let me. True have. soldier. True soldier, 100%. Yes, sir. Okay, so you played a little bit in middle school. So now you're in high school, ninth grade. Who's your coach? Did, it, did they have the ninth grade team or? Uh, I was playing ninth grade and I played varsity too. So okay. I was doing the ninth in varsity. And my coach was a um, white guy. Man, what is his name? Talk about Maddox. 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 Coach Maddox. Maddox. Coach Maddox. Okay. And his son was on the team as well. Coach okay. Maddox. You Co know, you yeah, know your yeah, stuff, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, man. Uh, coach know. Maddox was the coach. Um, man, me and Coach Maddox had it. Like um, once all the guys like Sherrod and all those um, guys. Burt was on the team when this happened. Uh, okay. We had a game, man, and uh, he was sitting down. We lost the game, and he told me to kneel down. Coach Maddox told me to kneel yeah. down, 
And I was like, no, I'm not kneeling down to you. And I went, I, I cussed his ass out. I put him my leg. No, no, you good. I you cussed good, his man. ass out. I ain't saying, who the fuck you think he is? You know, he a white guy. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And back then, uh, no. Nah. Yeah. And he had that sort of, he was a good good person, but, you know, I wasn't kneeling down. Yeah. He threw me out of the gym and threw me off the team. So I went home, and my grandmother, I told her about it, Doreen Joe, Doreen mm. Harris. Mm. And I told the mom about it, and she said, uh, oh, no, I'm going to this school. She about did tall, bro. <laughs> we went to the school. She said, my, she said, my, baby, don't, my baby don't kneel down to nobody but God. <laughs> so uh, I ended up getting back on the team. Okay. Um, and he apologized? I, uh, he didn't. Uh, he didn't. Did. And I didn't either. See, that yeah. was the thing. I mean, you didn't have a right I, to. I, wasn't, you know, I, I, I didn't apologize. Everybody was saying apologize so I can get back on the team, but nah. I didn't. I wasn't nah, going. No, 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 I wasn't nah. going. No, nah, I mean, you did right. That, I mean, he should have been the one. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? To kneel down. Like, yeah. well, he, he's supposed to be king. You know something? what I did, bro? <laughs> um, I found out um, after he left, uh, Coach Lemon became mm -hmm. the coach. My dog, my brother, oh, my, yeah. my, my dad, Man. <laughs> a basketball dad. Yeah. So um, I was a gr I was the good one real well, and I was wondering like all the players. I was I was a Dan that does and all that stuff, but I was like wondering why I didn't get to go to the McDonald game. So, yeah, bro. So you know what, man? Uh, Coach Lemon came to me and said, "Man, Jones, this after all the stuff over with." He's like, "Man, look what I found in my desk." How about they had already sent me the letter? It was in Maddox's desk drawer. No, for the McDonald's All American game. Yeah. You well, hear me, bro? Be that would have oh. been a big difference oh, in my yeah, career. Huge. You know, huge. In, in this drawer. All the, a lot of other letters from other big teams. I, you know, I had a locker full of letters yeah. from every school. So. Wow. But that broke me a little bit, yeah, but I had I mean, to keep going. Come, coming from Greenwood, where we come from, mm -hmm. to have that type of prestige, yeah. that type of accolade. And for you not to even know about yeah, it, I didn't to, know about man. it. He was already gone. He had already yeah, he, left. Him. Cause so come so, your tenth grade, he was gone. Coach Lemon came. I think was I it? think it was I think it was the tenth or the eleventh. I think I got two years with uh, Coach Lemon. I think okay. it might have been tenth grade. Okay. Cause I think I got two years with Coach Lemon. Okay, so so ninth grade you playing, so you got tenth, your eleventh, and your twelfth mm -hmm. grade year. How do you feel like your game evolved each year? Like, did you? Did you your post moves got better? Did you um, did you develop a jumper from the tenth and eleventh or whatever? Like how how did you feel Man, like your game most evolved? Most definitely, it evolved all the way around, bro. Cause the way Coach Lemon coached and all the guys that ever played with him, ever played on them, know that Coach Lemon going he gonna get the best out of you. Yes, sir. And he know how to get the best out of you. If he can't get the best out of you, you can get ready to get off the off the team. Man and um. He had me, Coach Lemon must have figured that I should be able to jump higher than I could jump. So he put me on this box. He had a box that he used to always have in there. And he said, I need you to do a certain amount, certain amount each day. And man, don't you know that once I was doing that each day, I started jumping out of the gym. After I get off the box, he'll have me do something else. Jump hook, not with my left hand, but with my right hand, right hand. To this day, my right hand is stronger than my left because I did so much with uh, mm -hmm. with uh, right hand. And you a lefty, right? And I'm a lefty. Okay. Like everything I do now, mostly I do it with my right hand, except uh, writing in a, writing in something like that or shooting with my left hand. Right. Okay. So, okay. So your ten, so your sophomore, junior, and your senior year. So who were some other standout guys on the team? Like some <clears> guys that were that were putting up buckets. Oh. Uh, Man, with me before, bro, I, you know what? Uh, I know you know before Sherrod always. Sherrod oh, just yeah. an all around yeah, athlete, was, bro. Yeah. Uh, baseball, he could do it all. Yeah. So Sherrod was putting up numbers. Uh, we had a lot of guys. I'm talking about like it wasn't like just one person was yeah. putting up a lot of numbers. You know, what I, I saw so, the picture. Y'all, y'all had some. Man, some we guys, had some guys man. that could play. You know what I'm saying? And it was it, everybody pretty much was even, bro. Everybody pretty much. Keiji was, was on that team. Keiji was tough. Yeah, Keiji was tough. Yeah, that's he, he was put up. He was putting up a lot of numbers too. Yeah. You know okay. What I'm so. He was real tough, man. Yeah. I can't believe that he didn't go to a college and play there. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's crazy, man. Yeah, because he was tough. I thought maybe after I left, he would get more and more points and rebounds. But mm -hmm. I don't know what happened. But he he was a great player. It's, it's a lot of good talent mm -hmm. to come out of Greenwood. Yeah, yeah. Bill, Bill, Walt, Bill Walters, yeah. man, Walter. Mm -hmm. Bill, Bill was tough. Bill could jump yeah, out of the gym, yeah. bro. Ben, I, Bill was at the wreck one time. Yeah, yeah. And, 
And man, he cocked back and dunked it, man. I thought uh, Kyrie was gonna kick him out for breaking the rim, man. Man, man he, back then he was doing the put, between his leg dunking back then. Oh, in high school, he was bringing it between his leg and man. dunking the ball. He was that good. Yeah, he, he could jump out yeah, the gym, he man. He could jump out the gym. Okay, so your senior year, uh, you said that you, so we just gonna say you was a McDonald's All American nominee. We gonna say that. Yeah, yeah, since, okay, since, okay. Since he wanna hide the letter. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? It, we, we, gonna, we gonna say but that. That was a Danny Dozen, though. Danny yeah, Dozen. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, so you was just that one year, your senior year, or was it junior senior, senior year? Senior year. Senior year. Okay, so how did y'all finish out uh, your senior year? Like, who did y'all uh, play in the we, uh, we played Clinton. Clinton beat us at home. <clears throat> And we were gonna end up going to the uh, big to, house. yeah to the big house. Clinton beat us at home that, that year. Man, had Can't some kids with his socks way up here. Man, he gave us that work. <laughs> he gave us that work, bro. Man, uh, he was a guard. He or? was a, he was like a guard. Yep, guard, small forward. Okay. He, he just knew how to play. He was a, I mean, he was like an older guy. He knew how to play, bro. Yeah, kind of savvy. Had that. And he yeah. had it all. Uh, okay, so your senior year, you know how many points you averaged uh, I'm, rebounds? I'm not sure. I'm not, not sure. sure, but it, I, it was up there. I know you was, yeah. I was yeah, going to say, you was up there. there. I'm not Dan, sure. Yeah, you, you know what? Up. I never, after, I never looked at stats. Really? I, I never was a stat guy. Even okay. overseas, I, I never stat. I was, only reason I probably looked at stats overseas is because if I get a certain amount of blocks and rebounds, they give me a bonus. <laughs> and I want to check my too. check. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the only reason. I never was a stat guy. I don't like to uh, check stats out. No. Yeah. Just go play. Just go play, yeah. yeah. Let the stats speak yeah, for itself. Yeah, just speak they'll, for itself. Yeah, they'll bro. come to you exactly. when they, you know, you're exactly. doing good. Okay, so now your senior year ends. It's college time. So what colleges that were interested in you? Bro, man? everybody was calling the crib. Uh, my, I know I was staying with my grandmother. So when my mom went to the Houston Shamrocks, I was with my grandmother on my dad's side. And... Um, I never went back. I told her I wanted to stay there. Okay. So they were calling the house, bro. I'm talking about everybody, Mississippi State, Ole Miss, Kentucky, all the big team were calling. They was just, I was overwhelmed, bro. I was overwhelmed. And it was just me trying to make a decision on what college to go to. So, mm -hmm. bro, my head was like this, I promise you. I'm talking <laughs> about, I didn't have anybody to go and speak with. I probably had people I could talk to, but I never went to them right. about it. So, um, but Mississippi State uh, came to the to the house on uh, Cotton Street, and you know every day we go um, play at the park, mm -hmm. GP Park, mm -hmm. and um, they came and they were like, "Where are you going, Jones?" I was like, "I'm finna go to the park. We gonna go with you." So, um, Ole Miss had already been calling, and I had been up there to a camp, and um, they said, "Man, we hear you talking. You're thinking about going to Ole Miss," and they said, "Jones, you must. Uh, I know you're a smart guy." Do you know the difference between the uh, Cadillac and the Pinto? It's what the, yeah. what is Stansberry yeah, or somebody? Well, yeah, Stansberry told me, he like, man, do you know the difference between the Cadillac and the Pinto? He said that uh, Ole Miss is the Pinto and we the Cadillac. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we get to the park, bro, and uh, man, you got Ooney, you got Chester Isaac, all the folks that, all the hood, mm -hmm. all the hood was on the mm -hmm. park, smoking weed, everything, bro. <laughs> Them folks sat right there while we while I hoop, man, and was out there talking to all the guys and while they were smoking and everything. They just wanted me to play with right. them. I end up signing with Ole Miss, though. Okay. So, you, so, so, the, pen, so the Pinto end up Yeah, being. I, the Pinto. I, have, I was, trying to, I was being, trying to be loyal, bro. Right. I had mm -hmm. already told them that I was going to do it. Um, I had been speaking with the glasses. Uh, um, they had noted that Gerald, you know, Gerald went mm -hmm. there, and uh, yeah. that's who I went to the camp with. And, okay. Um, and I, I was trying to be loyal. Probably should have made a couple more decisions and stopped trying to be as loyal as I was with that. Uh, Ole Miss, I never did go to the... I went to the campus and visited after that, and uh, I liked it. I liked it, bro. So, um, But it wasn't for me. They wanted me to go to Virginia, to a JUCO, because I never had took the, the test to okay. get in college. Right. And I said no. Um, ended up uh, getting a call from Trinity Valley, and they wanted me to do a visit. Um, they asked me I could bring anybody. I said, I don't want to come by myself. I can bring anybody that I wanted. So I brought, brought another guy from um, Broad Street that played on, with us um, at Greenwood High. And he, we went down there to do a visit. And he liked it. They said I could, they would sign both of us okay. if I signed. Mm -hmm. So I ended up signing with him, bro. Okay. And I got, he had a deal, too. 
Um, went down there after when school was getting ready to start. I went down there probably about three weeks before, two weeks before school. They put me in the dorm room and they left me in there, bro. I didn't see anybody for like a week. So what I did is I ended up um, calling back home, give me a bus ticket. Mm -hmm. um, I had all my stuff, suitcase, and it was only football players and myself in the dorm room. So I asked this football player, would he take me to the bus station? I said, I'm finna get out of here, man. And that, you know, I didn't know what my next move was. Right. Um, I'm, I'm all crying and, yeah. you know, I end up getting on the bus. I call my uncle and he, he stay in Jackson. I said, I, ain't, I don't even want to come through Greenwood. Everybody gonna be looking at me like, man, that man that messed up. He had all his chances to right, go. So right. I end up going to my uncle's house, crying the whole trip. And I'm um, getting there and my uncle said, no, nah, we're going to be all right, man. Jackson, stay here. Jackson, stay here. And uh, we can valley. We're going to call every school until we find you somewhere to go. I ended up, um, we called um, Jackson State and um, what is St Stogland. Mm -hmm. They said, uh, we're going to send somebody to uh, come pick you up. They came, picked me up. I went in there, took a test, passed the test. Okay. And they said, okay, you're going to be a red shirt, but you're going to end up, you're going you're gonna to play with us. Mm -hmm. So that's how I ended up with Jackson State, bro. Well, look, Jackson State got a, ju got a gem. Yeah, that's what I ended up with blue. Jackson State. So, so if you could have, if you could have picked a college to go to or go back and revisit that again, what college would you have went to? Oh, that's a good question, bro. At the same time, bro, I, uh, Oh, that's a good question. Oh, you man. think Jackson State was meant for you? I think Jackson State was meant for me, bro. I really do. Because uh, Valor didn't even recruit me, bro. Val and my oh. mom was in the Valor? Hall of Fame. Valor didn't recruit one strip, me. One strip coach? Strip was the coach. Valor did not recruit me. I didn't, they didn't come to the house. I might have I got a letter, but I had so many. How I right, know. right, real. But uh, I def that so every time I played them, I tried to bust their ass. Yeah, did. I, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Would you, would you have went to Valor if they would have? Or Most just, likely, I would have because of my mom. Because of hometown. Yeah, yeah, because of my mom. Wow. Yep. <laughs> Valley didn't recruit. Valley did not recruit me, bro. Man, Valley, Valley didn't slept on a lot of gems, man. A lot Valley of didn't gems recruit me, man. Coming up. Okay, so now you at Jackson State. So, your first year. Tell me about what happened on your first, your first. First year, year I played, or you know, the, no, that you know your year that you, because you said you didn't play. Your, yeah, for well, first year, yeah, I didn't play. You didn't play. So uh, what, what happened with that? Just working out every time. We, you know, um, they have Summer Lindsey Hunter. Um, what's the other guy name? Um, man, it's a big dude. I forget his name, man. He, he played at Jackson State. He played at Jackson State. Okay. We had Ryan Lockridge. They, he, he, um, he played there where we played every summer. It, it was just a lot of basketball, right. all basketball. That right. really was. So you was trying to just get your. I was game trying to right get my game you. right. And, okay. You know, I'm the young fella. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. they gonna push me around oh, yeah, and yeah, all yeah. that. So that's what having Jack State was just a prepping. That first year was a prep year for okay, me. Okay, just learning. You're trying yeah. to get your get your feet. Yeah, ready, yeah, like and say. everybody get to know who you are, and you know. Okay, so so that year, so your next year, your sophomore year, you uh you averaged twelve point seven. Uh, six rebounds and three blocks. Mm -hmm. You led the swag in blocks. Mm -hmm. So how was it coming into your sophomore year? Easy work. Easy work. <laughs> I'll tell you, bro, because I'm telling you the way I was raised, man. I was raised up on the block playing basketball. Mm -hmm. And I, that's, where, that's the way I thought. I was like, okay, these are look, these kids, are, these are young guys. I'm out here on the block playing against Una Terry and all these folks that's full of uh, beer and <laughs> yeah, whiskey, yeah. and they bump, they bumping me around. So right, okay. I just went in and aggressive. Everything I did was aggressive. So that's why I was able to get three blocks because I'm going after everything. You're trying, you're, to, you're trying to take, to send it to uh, the yes, state. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> and then I'm throwing up west side. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> They're like, John, throwing up the game side. No, I'm not. I'm throwing up my side of town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to rip, man. Yeah, they know where you're from. Yeah. If, if they don't, they know they now. They know now, I'm the bro. <laughs> yes, sir. So, okay. So, now your your last year you had thirteen points, ten rebounds, two point nine blocks. You led the swag in blocks and you led the swag in rebounds. So going into your senior year of uh, at, at uh, Jackson State, man, how was that knowing that you know this is your last year? You got to put on the show, mm -hmm. bro. I'm gonna tell you what motivated me that last year. Um, you know, I met my wife at at um, Jackson State. She was a J. C. Amanda Jones. Mm -hmm. um, we were pregnant at the time, so. Like, I was like, okay, what am I going to do? Right. So I said, I got to go hard 
or either uh, uh, what how I'm gonna take care of my kids. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that every every game, every practice, I went hard as I could, hard, 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 bro, because I knew I had a child coming. So right. you know, and I had my child during the season. Okay. And she when uh, money was born. Uh, she had a heart surgery. She had to have heart surgery. She had preliminary treason where the vessel to your lung doesn't develop mm -hmm. and it won't pump the blood through the heart or whatever, oh, okay. to the, you know, from the heart to the lung. Right. So um, ended up um, ended up she had had that surgery like right during the season. We had a major game we had to play. And they were saying, no, Jones, you're not going to play. You're not going to play. I had to play the game because right. I knew that it, it would have helped the team yeah. end up playing I. Cut up, bro. Man. I cut up. It's a big article. I'm gonna have to give you that article. Okay, okay, it. okay. Yeah. Okay, then. So, so your your daughter, she she's fine. My daughter's good. fine. She since then, my daughter had had a total of five open heart surgeries, bro. Um, when she was born, they said she might not make it to eight, ten, something like that. Wow. Um, my daughter's 23 now. Oh, yeah, blessing, 23 man. Now, 23 blessing, now. 23 now. You know what I'm saying? Hey, that's that's a blessing, man. That's a blessing. So. Okay, so y'all make it to the NCAA tournament, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Last year, oh, so yeah. I see y'all play Arizona. You had twelve points, nine rebounds, and a block. And y'all played against Gilbert Arenas, Lauren Woods, who about your height, he yeah, was a little yeah, bit yeah. taller. Richard Jefferson and Luke Wallace, man. How was it playing against bro. those guys, man? That that ended up playing in the NBA, bro. You know what? Uh, I played it like it was a normal game, but I was excited about playing against them. But it seemed like everybody was scared. Like it was that, yeah. that's that stage, that's bro. The, yeah, they, I had the bright lights. I had the butterflies, but I said I'm finna show out because I got people watching on TV. Exactly. So Lauren Woods didn't play. He said, he "Oh, he said out." Uh, okay. Gilbert Arenas played. Jefferson played, and they had that big boy right. Uh, oh, he ended yeah, up yeah, getting yeah. killed. He ended okay, up getting killed. Was, was it Michael Wright? I think that's his name. It may be Michael Wright. Michael, Wright, something yeah. like that. He ended up getting killed at because uh, of some tender type stuff. Oh, okay, I think he okay. was. Uh, I, I met that kid in uh, Israel, too. He was playing okay, in Israel okay. I played against. And Luke, one Luke, Luke Walton was on that team. Luke was Walton was think, on that yeah, team. Okay. On, that, on that team. Yeah. Well, I, was Jason Terry already gone? I think yeah, Jason I think Jason Terry, Terry had left. Because yeah, they but, won it. Yeah. I don't think this is the year they won the national championship. I, I, don't think, I think they so won either. that year before Jason so. Terry had left. I don't think so either. But I know that uh, I, I got a picture with um, um, Gilbert Arenas over there with me and Jefferson. When Jefferson did the jump ball. So me and Jefferson okay. doing the jump yeah, ball. I got some pictures and stuff on there. Yeah, he jumped out the gym, boy. Boy, I, he's an asshole too. When, well, he was one then. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I had blocked his shot, and he said, "Man, he said something about, uh, yeah, we finna beat y'all little ass." That's how he said. Yeah, it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it, so I went at him every time, bro. Did. Every time. I know you did, Richard. <laughs> yeah, he he. Yeah, he, got, he, he had arrogant. some choice of words, arrogant, man. Bro. Yeah, yeah he was you can tell on the TV. I wanted man. all the smoke, though. I'm out of GP with, bro. Yeah, yeah, I wanted yeah. all of it. Yeah, bring so, it on, man. I'm trying to tell you. So, uh, on that Jackson State team, who was uh, some more guys that, you know, that, that kind of was uh, uh, on, the team on that team? We had Timmy Marks. Uh, he's a guard, real good. Richard Bradley, he owns the M Bar in Jackson now. Okay. Um, uh, Roy Dixon. Okay. Dixon, Dixon skins. His dad just passed. Rest oh, in okay. peace, Mr. Dixon. Dixon. In peace. Um, bro, we had a we had a nice. Uh, uh, what is name? Um, Marino Walker. He was okay. a guard. Uh, they had a nice little, had, little squad, bro. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Dion Burns, and we had another seven foot footer called um, Seven. We call him Seven. He yeah. was seven foot one though. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Man, what was he? What was he from? He, he, he from, from Yazoo City. Yazoo City. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Yazoo City. Okay, okay. Him and Dion. Okay, so NCAA tournament. So now Jackson State, your career is over at Jackson State. So now it's NBA mm -hmm. per se. So did did you talk to any teams? Did you um, go to any camps? My agent, um, I did go to a camp in Chicago. Uh in Atlanta, it was for the uh Chicago Bulls though. Okay. And um the uh, what his name? Dominique was there. Okay. Uh, they never gave me a call back because I didn't wait. I was already headed across overseas, okay. bro. So I was all, right I wasn't waiting. I had to get a check. I had to take care of my, my exactly. people. You know what I'm saying? You had to, that process is long. Yeah, yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? You kind of got to jump on mm -hmm. that. I went to the, um, what was that, the Desert Classic. Uh, mm -hmm. Man, it was, I got to get you some pictures. Um, mm -hmm. um, Desert Classic, man, we had Mateen. Mateen Cleese and Mr. Winter Yeah, State. yeah. Um, who else? Um, 
Bro, it was a lot of athletes. I saw, I met Dr. J. Michael okay. Jordan was there. What that Mason kid name real, jumped real uh, high. Desmond used to, Mason. We used to play Desmond with the Sonic. Yep, yep, I blocked Mason. his shot. He said, I'm coming right back at you. Yeah. Like, uh, okay, yeah. K, right back at me, yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> I, I act like I slip. He dug yeah. the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, like, bro, it was a it was some great athletes at that day, bro. I, I don't know the names of all the guys, right. so but it was some great athletes there. Okay, so that was ninety nine going into two thousand. Yeah, 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 exactly, 2000. exactly. Okay, so so now you overseas, mm -hmm. so you get drafted in two thousand by Dodge City mm -hmm. in the second round. Mm -hmm. um, so how was your experience coming from? Let me Go stop ahead. you, bro. I forgot that I went to. Um, I did the Pepsi Pros in Las Vegas. Okay. And um, I killed at that Pepsi Pros. Um, yeah. And we, I paid for everything myself. Mm -hmm. I had, didn't have an agent or anything at the time. I, me and my wife, well, we weren't married then. Me and Amanda went there and we stayed at the hotel, paid for the hotel, all that. I had already uh, did a year okay. overseas. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, and, so um, you, and then I, I did a couple couple of NBA things, bro. Okay, look. So you out of pocket trying to get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pepsi Pros. Uh, I, mean, I was, I'm not sure, bro, but I think, um, what's that guy, James Harden, I think I played against that kid, bro. Okay. Because I remember always him always leaning his shoulder in on me before I won't block a shot. Yeah. I had like eight blocks one game, yeah. bro. Maybe. <laughs> Eight blocks in the yeah, game, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I wouldn't lie to you. It was like, hey, every time I block the shots, uh, the guy would, every day we're like, woo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they know it was going on. They knew it was going on. <laughs> so, okay, so the Pepsi Pros. So now now you drafted mm -hmm. in 2000 and uh, go to Dodge City, second round. So how was it coming from? So, okay, before, before we start Dodge City, what country is that in? Uh, I, I never went there. I you never, went, you never went to Dodge. So you got drafted, never went. Never went. So what? Never, what, what happened? Never went. I, I, bro, I didn't even know anything, anything about that, bro, because yeah. I didn't have an agent at the time. Yeah. And then once I got an agent, I still didn't know about that. Yeah. I was uh, looking for jobs and ended up going to Turkey. Okay, so that yeah. was your first. Was Turkey was your first? Uh, Tur I went to Turkey and they didn't want me. I ended up going to um, was well, Spartak uh, St. Petersburg. I went to St. Petersburg, Russia. Okay. And that's where I played at, bro. Okay. Yeah. I went to Turkey and it was a tryout and I didn't know it was a tryout. So they didn't want me. I ended up going to Spartak, playing a season. And that next season, that same team in Turkey saw what I did in, in, uh, in Spartak and wanted me to play. They begging for you now. Yeah, and I got a bigger check. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't going without a bigger was, check. Oh, yeah. Got to. Got to. Dev. So you got you to gotta pay to play. Yes, sir. So... So how was it, man, come going from the United States and going overseas? I mean, the food, the culture. Man, yeah. How different was it, man, coming from Greenwood, Mississippi? Big man? difference. Big difference. Uh, man, the weather changed, the culture. Uh, having a translator when I was in Turkey, Istanbul, I had to have a translator. But they all spoke somewhat English. Okay. Uh, they understood a little bit. Yeah, what you yeah. Know. And it was, it was a big difference, bro. Coming from Greenwood, uh, I, I didn't know nothing about flying. That was my first time flying. Oh, no, man. I flew to Hawaii with the t uh, team before, but that was like my second time flying. I'm alone, bro, yeah. by myself. Yeah. You got to figure out how to get here, figure out how to get there. Yeah. Each of the countries, I didn't learn some little bit of the a a language, yeah. like how to tell them which way to go and all right, that, right, bro. Okay. So it's a it's a big big culture shock. Man, learning experience. Was Man, what you talk about, bro? So was it? So was I know like I had a homeboy. He played overseas, and they usually have like one or two Americans. Did mm -hmm. you have? Was you the only American on the no, team? No. Uh, in in Turkey, it? we had two. We had three <clears throat> Americans, but in Russia, it was just two of us. Just two. Okay. Yeah. So they don't they don't really like a whole bunch of. No, they no, like it's only it's a rule that. Um, it's only you can only have it. I might have moved now, but back then we could only have two. Two. I okay. think it's like three or four three almost now. Okay. Uh. Okay. So, so you go. So you in Russia? You playing in Russia? How many years did you play in Russia? Oh man, uh, Spartak. Uh, I played with um, two different teams. So I played with Perm, Perm Russia. I played uh, three years in Russia. I think three or two years in Russia. Okay. I'm not sure, bro. Okay. So you play in Russia, then you was the MVP of a year. What 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 year were you I was MVP? In, when I was in Turkey, I was the MVP. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure what, bro. I promise you, I don't know my year. Yeah, that's cool. I wasn't that's good. Cool. Um, the year that I was MVP in Turkey, they had Mehmet Okur that I, I think I mentioned that with you, to yeah. you before. 
good shooter, yeah, big man. In Utah, yeah. Oh, he Detroit, used to Utah. he used to want to try to work me, but I knew how to get him away from the basket uh, and, and, and just go and right yeah, past. Yeah, yeah, go right past him, man. Man, man. Turkey Lou was at the game a couple he of times. Knew, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, uh, so in the total, how many years did you play overseas? In the uh, total? fifteen years total. Total. Man, that's a great career, man. Hey, bro, I'm telling you, it was fun. I played in so many different countries. Um, Poland, Dubai, um, Syria. My son was born in Syria before the okay. war, uh, Aleppo, Syria. Uh, you know, Iran. Iran was a, was, okay. a, was a tricky one, too, bro. Yeah, okay. But they paid so much. That Please money's so good, bro. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey. my goodness. Anytime that money comes Damn, in, bro. Hey. If it's good, Iran, it's good. Iran got their own. The team I played for, they produced the oil and all that. Oh so man, that was, we were living in lovely, bro. Man, hey, they say when it's, they making money over yes, there. Yes, uh, <laughs> so I, I ain't got. The, when I used to go out there, bro, we used to go get. Uh, we want some chicken wings or whatever. So me and my wife and the kids, we go out to. We had to, we stayed in the villa, so we had to go way out in the country, mm. and we go thinking we finna get some packed chicken, and they go and catch the chicken. And, and ring the chicken by the neck and cut the chicken up and give us what parts of the chicken we want. Oh, uh, that's God. how that's the culture change. Hey, yeah, that's a hell of a culture yeah. change, man. I don't even know how to act. Bro, way way the, different. Way different. The breast and you just cut it exactly, off. Exactly, exactly. I want the breast. They cutting it off, bro. Taking the guts out the chicken. Oh, Dang, oh wow. So man, so 15 years overseas, man. Do you miss playing ball? Yes, I. I, I wouldn't lie to you. I miss it, bro. I miss it a whole lot. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm now I'm in a point where uh, I'm trying to focus on my um, son getting to where I don't want to push him too hard where I break him. Right. And, and so now I'm, I got a trainer that I'm sending him to now. Okay. Um, but I miss it a lot. Dog. Yeah, I miss I, it a I, lot. Man. I miss it a lot. I'm going to have to get myself back into it. I might want to try to coach one day. Okay. So go back over there. Um, you still young, man. Yeah, still, still got young. knowledge, still man. Still young, man. Still I think I'm going to try to get that coaching over there. But I really like overseas, bro. Okay. I like overseas. Okay, so how old is your son? My son is, son is 15. 15. 15. So now. what high school? Is he in he high go school? to Clarksdale High. Clarksdale High. This is going to be his. Well, he's not playing this year. Next year, he's going to be the first year playing. Okay, so, so he'll um, be a sophomore? Yeah, he'll be a, he'll be a sophomore. Sophomore, okay. So he's going to be on the team. We'll look forward to it, man. Yeah, What's his yeah. name? Vincent Jones II. Vincent, Vincent Jones II. All right. So, man, you miss playing ball, man. Hey, I appreciate everything, man. We're going to wrap it up, man, with a few uh, questions that I got, man. All right. And uh, we're going to call it fair. So things that come to mind when you hear these names or you hear these places. Coach Lemon. Uh-uh. father figure outside the court on the court anything he ever said to me uh it was like a dad um the one of the ones that one of the legends that, that put me in the right place yeah man he miss him man miss man him. man get chills just talking miss about him, hear bro. his voice Megan, stop miss him. yes yes got that miss voice him, he used to pull up on the side man yeah. with that that cigarette yeah, put it out yes, in that sir. car yes sir you knew it was time then yes, we finna sir. do some running that's yes, one sir. thing you about it run, bro. you finna run you are miss finna him, run bro. man yeah man rest in peace rest coach, in peace coach uh greenwood mississippi home home family friends no matter what goes on in greenwood the killing the this and that that's my home uh, i'm a rep to the day i die Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Philando Jones. Superstar. Superstar. That's, my, that's a superstar to me, bro. Uh, he had a chance to uh, go to any college he wanted to in football. Mm -hmm. But I'm thinking, I don't know if I'm correct, but I think he wanted to play basketball because I played. Okay. I'm not sure. Maybe. Look, we that's gonna, my feeling. We're going to get him. We're going to get him. I think he that. wanted to play because I played. And, man, don't you know that his journey is just really getting started. And he's been in, over there like six, seven years yeah. already. And yeah. he's killing, bro. Man. I'm, I, you know what? I'm so proud of him. Man, I'm proud of him. He understand how proud I am of him. And man, keep going, Lando. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. I. Hopefully, man, whenever he through, man, I can get him on, man. We can talk, man, and we yeah. can I can interview him and Let's see if we work that out. out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, man. So who was one of the toughest people to guard, the toughest players to guard, man? I mean, high school, college, overseas, one of the toughest guys that kind of gave you gave you a little problem. Oh, uh, man. 
we had a uh, we had a uh, we got a big guy in uh, in Russia and not in Russia but in um, Dubai. His name was Priest mm -hmm. Seven Four or something like that. But bro, he had to weigh three hundred some pounds, bro. <laughs> I promise you. And I used to try to move, get, do the little chair thing on him. It didn't work. Uh, he he was good. He can make the jumper. So he was the harder guy because if he get me under the basket, it's over with. Right, right. And then I didn't want them to double because I didn't want them to feel like I needed help. Right, right, so right. So he was the only guy. But when I get him down on the other end, I go to work on him. Yeah. But for us defending this kid, bro, he was older than me. He played in the league and everything. But okay. he was the toughest guy I ever played. Wow. Seven four and He's seven, three four, something. About three something. I got pictures of that too, man. I'm about to give you yeah, a lot yeah, of pictures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna have He's a to show up. Okay. But I dumped on him a few times. Okay, look, look. He go, hey, you gonna yeah, rip? You gonna, go. gonna remember me, you bro? You gonna remember me? Okay. All right, man. So who was one of the coldest players growing up with you, man? That that you felt that didn't get the recognition? Like you know how you had that that guy, man. Like if he would have got some more playing time, or if he would have even played ball, because you know mm -hmm. you got some park legends. You know mm -hmm, what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That never played. High school ball in their life. So who was like one of the coldest players that you know growing up that, that you think could have made some even, noise? Even if they something happened? Yeah, even if they, I mean, just one of the coldest players. If if they're not with us now or whatever, mm -hmm. just growing up, like one of the coldest players that you know, like, man, he could have, if he would have had his head on straight or whatever the case was, he would have he would have been something serious to deal with. Mm. Boy, that's a tough, it's a few of them, bro. Uh, but I got one that I know. I love this kid, man. Archie. Yeah. If that hadn't happened with him, uh, for sure, I think uh, he would been in the league and had been – he would been getting ready to retire from the league, bro. Yeah. Uh, I think that kid is, was just that good. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Man. Just yeah. that good. I really do. Okay. I got another one, man. My uncle and the kid, y'all. The okay. kid, man, tough. Football, all that. Yeah. Um, I just uh, – he could have been one of the best to play. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So – yeah. Okay. So okay. So what? What Slim? What? What prep Slim? What music you were listening to before the games, man? What? What you? What you was amping up in the in the in the, uh, in the headphones? GM man? player. GM player. <laughs> <laughs> they don't player. They don't know about that GM player, player, man. Player, bro. I, I reason why I listened. To, I used to listen to that, bro, because I was on one of the songs. Okay. Know, me and uh, Andre Williams. Dre okay. That. We we did a, a little skit on one of the songs. Okay. And I used to listen to that. And be like, yeah, that's me on that. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. That used to motivate me, bro. Okay. GM player. Man, hey, they they only had one. Did they have one? Just one album? I think they did more than one. one more than one. But, okay. Yeah. I had you one. Know, I had their first. It's hard to come up in that music industry, especially back then. Yeah. Now we got social media. Yeah. We got all that now. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, it's 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 yeah. it's, it's man, it's rough now. Well, it's rough then. Yeah, it's, it's easier now. now. Easier now. You ain't even got a rhyme. No, bro. You can make it. I barely make it. saying something. Yeah. <laughs> so all right, man. So rank these players, man. So from. From one, two, and three, rank these players for me. MJ, Kobe, LeBron, rank these players, man. Mm -hmm. So basically, number one is the goat, mm -hmm. and then you know number three, but they all go to yep. high, you know, in different eras. But who who you rank? MJ, Kobe, LeBron, man, rank them one, two, and three. MJ, LeBron, Kobe. Okay. That's my picks, bro. Yeah. I, I just, <laughs> that's just me, man. I, I just think MJ just uh, with the rings. Uh, yeah. Um, I think if Kobe had a little more time, Kobe's yeah. great, great rest in peace. Yeah. Great, but LeBron, most points. Longevity, man. You know what Longevity yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why LeBron was able to get that point. If Kobe was here, rest yeah. in peace, he would probably had a score in the title. Yeah, because his last, Kobe last three years, he was injured. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, LeBron, so LeBron probably was, been out, what, maybe yeah. 20 games in a season? Yeah. That was just once. Yeah, I got to give LeBron the number two, but I got to give Mike because that's Mike, bro. Yeah, that's Mike. what you, everybody yeah, wants to be, Mike. Mike. You know that's what I'm Mike. What they call him? Black, the black Jesus. Yes, uh, yes, that's Mike. Okay, so so last one, man. Would you change anything about playing ball? Uh, would you – I know you answered the question about the college, but, like, even if it's just going overseas, would you have worked harder? Would you have done anything? Or you think mm -hmm. everything was set the way it is and how it went? It was set the way it is because I made it that way. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I don't know why people said they wouldn't change. Ain't no way I wouldn't change um, my work ethic. Right. Uh, I think my work ethic was one even um, out of one to ten. I think my work ethic was a four. Mm -hmm. 
You yeah. have to realize it, bro. Yeah, um, I, I totally understand. Bro, I for, totally if understand. for four, uh, I, bro, I smoke more weed than anybody <laughs> out there, bro. Just being real, yeah, yeah. I smoke more weed. I'll smoke before a game and play. It yeah. still scored 20 some points, yeah. 15, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So now that I'm, uh, if I didn't do that and I hit the gym and got stronger, and ain't no way I wouldn't have changed that. So yeah. that's what I think I would have changed. I would have been more. 100% basketball in my lesson, in school lesson, and that's what I would have changed. Yeah, I, th I think. I don't know why a people lot of say that. Yeah, I yeah. think a lot of athletes, man, growing up, man, and then where, where we grew up mm -hmm, in, mm -hmm. man, you really didn't have nobody just kind of pushing mm -hmm, you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You had to really kind of push yourself yep, yep. in a sense. And, you know, going to the parks mm -hmm. or going to yeah, the rec exactly, and exactly, hooping, you know exactly. what I'm saying? You had to really kind of push yourself. One thing I had, excuse me. Go ahead. One thing I know that uh, about my, my people, I'm going to talk about the kid cats on the block. Mm -hmm. One thing I know about them, um, all the time that I hung on the block, because Lemon was always on me about mm -hmm. standing up on the block. Mm -hmm. Uh, those guys were pushing me away from the block. They didn't want me to. They were hustle. All my all my best friends are hustlers. Mm -hmm. They work hard. They you know they street guys. Right. But I never. All the time I was out there, I never. They would never let. If something going on, they gonna make Slim go home. Or they never want put, brought me into that. I right. I was the one going to it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. But once it got to the point where they knew that I was gonna be successful, I couldn't go out there, bro. Yeah. I don't think I could go to the park. Yeah. You know what I'm they, they, those guys pushed me. We need more. We we, we need. They were the real now. OG. Them guys, yeah, real, real OGs. OGs. Buck yeah, Buck, I, Buck uh, Buchanan, the Kia Killer, uh, uh, Bert Key. Yeah. Bert Key. Uh, Buki. And he doing great things with the kids Exactly. Now, right now. You see how, how yeah. you got these OGs that doing stuff for the kids. You mm -hmm. got Seneca Gillen, Timothy Blissett. All these guys are putting money into yeah. these kids now. OGs. And all real these OGs. are OGs. Really these are That's real OGs. Like, yeah. Not the one, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Dizzy Jackson. That was my best friend. Okay. Dizzy Jackson. He's doing a lot of stuff now, yeah. man. You know what I'm saying? It's man. the knowledge when you learn, you get exactly. older, man. Then you got kids that's growing up in there. You don't want your kids to do exactly, exactly. what you, you know. Exactly. You so these, so the, the block now, now these blocks are really raised by the, they raising themselves. You got that. That's why there's so much shooting. And, you know, we have a lot of shooting back there. We bust ahead. We fight. Yeah, so, fight. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But that. Yeah, much we, 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 we need we need OGs now. Yeah, man. yeah. The, the, but, uh, people think OG means somebody going kill. No, no. The OGs is the one gonna give you the knowledge to make sure that you uh keep your head on straight. Yes, sir. You know yes, saying? sir. So. Yeah, man. Well, Slim, man. I appreciate your time, bro. Mm -hmm. I just want you to know, man. It's an honor. You, you from Greenwood, man. It's an honor to uh to have this interview with you, man. I know when I was playing ball, man, I remember you dunking the thing when I was going to the games and stuff like that, man. So just to have you here to tell your story, man, it's an honor. It's a privilege, bro. Man, it's always, they to get flowers out, man, you getting your flowers, I appreciate man. You that. I flowers, appreciate man. it, appreciate it, bro. Appreciate you, bro, 100%. man. 100%. All right. And what's your